In this video, I'm going to tell you about uh, some features in Horizon Forbidden West that I think uh, really will make it a lot easier in terms of getting shards and resources for upgrades, uh, but also in terms of the gameplay. Now, they're under accessi this accessibility features blog, which everybody yawned at like a week ago. But I think there's some really powerful stuff in here. So we're going to go through this, this blog and then we'll, we'll highlight some of the areas that I think will allow you to make a lot more shards, get a lot more resources, and really crush some top level opponents early on in the game. Uh, Gorilla details a few of the key accessibility options that players can use in the game come February 18th. Brian Roberts, Principal Designer Gorilla. With the launch of Horizon Forbidden West only a few days away, we are keen to share some of the accessibility features that will be available for our players. Early on in the game's development, we established that we wanted to bring the game to as many fans as possible and create immersive and accessible experience that can be enjoyed by everyone. Some of these returned from Horizon Zero Dawn and some are newly added as we've continued to learn and understand more about the needs of our players. We hope these features help you craft the gameplay experience that works best for you and look forward to hearing your feedback so we can fine tune even further. And so they're actually going through the setting. They've got a video here that goes through all the settings, uh, which is like a huge reveal this early in the game cycle that it's not out. Uh, general accessibility settings. There are a couple things that are automatically enabled upon starting the game, one of them being subtitles. You also have the option to change the size and background of the subtitles, better visibility, you select preferred language, both spoken and subtitles when starting the game for the first time. In the game menu you can find the notebook, an expansive encyclopedia containing useful information about characters, machines, data points found in the world. We wanted to ensure that any help can easily be found while you're playing. You should should you need any guidance so we've added the separate tutorial section in the game mechanics control so the notebook uh you know it's going to have tips on how to do things but it, uh, i think they also have like the list of every single machine that you you know for instance you may want to scan and kill for a trophy uh difficulty settings we understand that every player wants their own type of challenge in forbidden west so we have five difficulty settings that are tailored to give you an experience you prefer from story mode which eases the combat experiences so you can focus on exploration and story to very hard which presents you with tough demanding combat experience and really tests your skills so i think one thing is that we we have a trophy video none of the trophies are based on difficulty setting just keep that in mind uh, we also introduced custom difficulty setting, which allows you to adjust damage levels that Alloy deals and receives from enemies, giving more flexibility in adjusting combat difficulty. So it's not just as simple as setting the settings, but you can you can tweak the settings within the settings. So uh, damage levels, you can tweak those up or down if you want to make the, the combat harder or easier. Uh, Horizon Forbidden West is a focus on hunting machines, detaching them, and looting their resources to craft ammo and upgrade equipment. Many of these resources can be destroyed if not detached before the machine is killed. This can be challenging, so if we've introduced an easy loot system, and I think that's the key thing that I think is really amazing, is the easy turning on the easy loot option means that any resource components that are still attached when killing a machine are added to its loot inventory. Right? So if you select easy loot, you're going to upgrade so much faster than if you don't select this setting. And it's not, it's not a, a setting that uh, is uh, automatically selected. This, this lessens the need to detach those components during combat. Right, So I think a lot of people focus on detaching components that they wanted during combat. You don't have to do that if you do easy loot. Uh, this system's default for story and easy difficulty. So you could play on very hard, right, or the top level difficulty, turn on easy loot, and then you'd have the best gear, right? So, uh, as well as an option for custom mode. Uh, controller settings. As Aloy is a skilled and agile hunter, it's important that the controls be as intuitive and comfortable to use, at allowing Aloy to fill her her full range to succeed. With this in mind, we've introduced a number of options to make these controls accessible as possible. 
Horizon Forbidden West has few presets for controls, including left-hand support, but we also implemented fully remappable gameplay controls with guidance on the potential conflicts, meaning you can fully customize which button or input does what. There are also several options to swap between toggle and hold where applicable or invert the X and Y axis. Another feature is the co-pilot system, which grants a second PlayStation controller with mirrored access controls to the game. This only requires another controller, DualSense controller for the PS5, DualShock controller for the PS4, and second user profile. The co-pilot system was implemented thanks to incredible feedback and support from our sightless accessibility consultant. Right, So two people can essentially run the controls at the same time, which is something you normally can't do. Uh, so, you know... If you have a, if you kind of want to have a joint experience, even though it's a single player game, um, Copilot. This this turn on this feature to use a second controller with mirrored controls requires a second user profile, and you can be a guest profile. You, you can set that up really easily. You just you just touch the other controller, and it's going to prompt you to either use a different profile or uh, go in as a guest. Horizon Forbidden West also features optional motion sensor controls using the DualSense wireless controllers built-in accelerometer and gyroscope, and you can make intuitive micro-adjustments to aim shots that for extra touch of precision. There are sliders for the sensitivity of movement as well as the dead zone settings for the analog sticks. You can also quick swap between weapons with one tap and swap the functionality of the left and right sticks for character and camera movements. As the PS5 version of the game makes use of adaptive triggers and vibrations, we have introduced settings for players that find these options challenging. You can change the vibration, the intensity, and cinematics, traversal, combat, UI, or the environment, and you can disable the adaptive triggers when wielding weapons. Right? Uh, so here they're, they're showing the, the different uh, controller uh, settings that they, they have. So there's a main, uh, swimming, mount, machine strike... So they have different presets, and then you can do it, customize it. But, you know, I think if you played the previous game, you just want to do the main. Uh, and then gameplay assist settings. These are aimed at supporting players who may experience difficulties with any aspect of the game. When it comes to weapons in combat, you can, for example, adjust how much the game slows down when the weapons wheel, which allows you to quickly equip a weapon, is activated or enable aim assist. So there you go. So if you're on, even if you're on very hard difficulty, you can adjust the weapon wheel timing, slow it down, which makes it easier to switch between weapons. Properly, also craft, uh, craft in the middle of uh, ammo in the middle of a battle, and then you have the aim assist that you could also do better at shooting the big weapon, big uh, monster, or the big. Uh, machines. So for instance, if you're like farming uh, machines, you may want to turn on aim assist and uh, you may want to slow down the weapon wheel so that you can go after the really big machines that are going to drop the, the uh, better mods. Uh, you can increase the duration of concentration. Another thing that's going to make it a much easier combat situation against high level enemies, uh, which slows down time when you aim your bow or even set auto concentration if you have concentration left which saves you from having to activate it yourself in tricky combat situations so you don't even have to activate it it'll be the default that's pretty awesome uh and then uh there you go aim assist right right here and uh let's see this is moving through it uh and off and on default strong off Some other automatic settings that save you a button click are auto sprint, auto heal uh, when below 50% health, and auto sh shield wing, which deploys when you fall from great heights once you, this ability is unlocked. So if you have trouble uh, remembering to use your medicine or potions, then you can then you can do the turn on the auto heal, um, or you might want to turn that on for like a, a boss fight that you're having difficulty with because it's just one more thing you have to do in the middle of combat uh you know i wouldn't put on auto heal for all things sometimes i just prefer to die <laughs> and, and wouldn't want to use my rations uh but uh you know auto sprint i think sounds great because I, that actually 
you know, I get carpal tunnel from a lot of games uh, with the the uh, the sprint option, pu- pushing down like the the one of the sticks uh, for sprinting. So I think that's that's a really nice thing. Um, there's also a setting called climbing annotations always on. This makes available the climbing options easier to see without requiring use of focus. Please note that some of the auto settings only work in story easy and custom difficulty modes. Right. So here you go. This has the the climbing assist there, so it's 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 highlighted which ones are the the good handholds or not. Um, you know, I'm still kind of bummed that they they have like specific handholds versus like kind of climbing everything. Um, but there you go. Uh, Horizon Forbidden West spans across a huge area, so we have implemented some guiding tools to help you navigate this vast, vibrant world. You can choose if you want to explore the world with minimal guidance or if you'd like to see markers to help your quest destination. Same goes for waypoints, which are dynamically placed markers to help navigate. For longer travels, you can select Mount Follows Road, so your mount will navigate you to your goal with minimal player input. That's if you're not interrupted. Uh, there are pop-up reminders on how to use abilities, weapons, or engage with certain enemies. You can toggle on and off. If you boot up the game after shutting down your console, there's a story so far screen to help you get back in the swing of things. While PS4 players may encounter the occasional loading screen, including helpful hints, PS5 players can toggle between informative and immediate since the game loads a lot quicker and some might prefer to read the load screen tips. So yeah, I, I think like my uh, my copy of um, Ghost of Tsushima is, is on uh, informative and that's really annoying. So to be able to turn that off and get the immediate loading screens and not having to click the button to get out of the loading screen would be great. Uh, audio and visual settings. Uh, there's a couple of settings that are specifically aimed at reducing discomfort for our players. So, I mean, I think you may want informative to start out with and then uh, move to immediate soon. Uh, visually, you can fine tune the camera shake and motion blur settings and completely customize the game's HUD control, what information is visible to you and when. So there's a lot of people that like minimalist HUDs and that's great. You can also decide the size of subtitles and toggle whether they're displayed in the background or not. Audio-wise, there are individual volume controls for music, speech, and sound effects. You can also force mono audio and remove tinnitus sounds. These are triggering sounds, i.e. machine screens, which are similar to tinnitus sounds. In the PS5, there's also additional options to trim the uh, volume of machine sounds, weapon and explosive sounds, or ambient sounds, especially for people who are overly stimulated. Um, there are some features we've included will include ways to look back at Horizon for Mid and West even more accessible. So look forward to your feedback over the coming weeks. Um, big thanks to our accessibility advocates and playtesters as our own gorillas and our colleagues through PlayStation Studios and valuable support. So just to recap, the ones that I think are really powerful, right, um, you know, you know, if you're having trouble with climbing then uh, the climbing annotations always on is probably something for you uh, but I think that this this weapon wheel slow down and aim assist and also the the auto concentration are very OP things that you can do to change how how easy combat is uh, and then uh, let's see I think the other one is that uh that loot setting right so the loot setting uh which they call um easy loot right so if that easy loots option to turn that on even if you're on very hard if you're in story and easy it's going to already be on that but uh if if you uh turn on easy loot, I think that will make your upgrade path a lot easier. Uh, and and you'll, you'll, you'll breeze through the, the end game because you have the best gear. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel. We give you the secrets to crush Horizon Forbidden West.